Welcome back to my channel, Practical Baddie. I am Janae, and as you can see, I am sitting in front of my bookcase. I have books on my bookcase, I have papers, I have, <laughs> I have tissue boxes, and I have sparkly things. Of course, you know I love my sparkly things. So now what I am gonna be doing today is giving this 10-year-old it's probably a little bit longer than that that I've had this bookcase now. But I'm gonna give this really, really old bookcase a brand new facelift, okay? I'm not getting rid of it. The practical ways in me tells me not to get rid of it, which means it's here to stay, but we're just going to jazz it up and make it look practical baddie-ish. This is what my bookcase looked like before I cleaned it off. So now you guys can see that I have totally cleaned off all of the books, all of the nooks and crannies. I still have stuff that's on top of the bookcase, but we'll get to that much later. Um, so right now what I am going to do is I am going to just take a rag, I put a little bit of pine salt on it, and I'm just going to give this whole thing a nice wipe down. I know you guys are probably wondering like, why are you going through all of that? Why don't you just buy a new shelf? How about I don't want to? Okay, being practical as I am, I think that I can make it look super, super fab, and that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so stay tuned. So now, before I actually start painting the cubby, what I am going to do is, these are the back ends for the cubby. This was the original ones, and you can just see they're like stained, they're ripped now. So now we're just gonna cut out some new ones. Now this here is cardboard. What I did not do was go and pick up cardboard, but what I do have is these poster boards. Now these poster foam boards are a little bit thicker, or should I say a lot thicker, than what the regular cardboard is, but Hopefully we can make this work and because it's foam, it should be like super easy to press and for it to be stapled into the back. So now I am just going to take the originals, okay, I'm just going to trace them all around and I'm pretty much going to do that about four times. So now that I have all of those, I am just going to grab my straight razor which I do keep very handy in my bedroom. Don't ask me why. And now I'm just going to cut. The truth is I always keep a straight razor in my room because very rarely do I use scissors. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to put this contact paper over this board here so it can give me a really nice background. And now you are witnessing one of the few and rarest moments that I actually do use scissors. So take this in and enjoy it. So my biggest suggestion for laying down contact paper is to use a straight edge card so you don't get any bubbles in the paper. You can use your library card, you can use your Dave and Buster's card. You can also use your credit card, but of course if you do that, Make sure that you do it on camera so I can see the CVV code as well as the expiration date. Now that I have finished covering the panels that I wanted to cover, I will be laying them down on the bookcase in the spots that I will be stapling. As you can see, I did not put a back end to every one of the cubby holes, only because I do have cubby cubes that would be going inside them. The paint that I used was just regular latex paint, and I just made sure to get the spots that you can definitely see up close and personal. I didn't really go deep inside of the cubbies because once again, you won't be seeing them, and it would just be a waste of time. The top of this bookcase was the most disastrous. I tried to paint it a couple years ago and you can see now the paint just started peeling. So I am gonna actually cover this up with contact paper rather than paint. 
When cutting the contact paper for a project such as this, my biggest suggestion is to make sure that you like leave an extra inch on there just so all the edges can be super crisp and clean. So what I am going to be doing now is using my Dave & Buster's card, not my credit card, to get all of the bubbles from out of the contact paper as I lay it down. And with the little extra inch that I did leave on the contact paper, I would just cut off with my straight razor. And the best part out of all of this is that I get to reorganize. The biggest secret of being a woman is never throwing your things away, but only finding a way to hide them. <laughs> 